All right, let's just start with this. They have discovered that we have biophotons in the brain. And what does that mean? We are light processors. We process light in our brains. It's in the visible spectrum, the same stuff we see. Now, I have a lot of research on this, and I am going to go in deep. Come with me. All right, this rock is, this is a fascia tongue. This is actually that rock right here. It's been here for quite a number of years. It's a lot browner now. It's actually kind of hard to see the same. I mean, it is what it is. It's the same one. All right, but that's a better shot of it. Now, you can see the fabric and the tongue. This is what it looks like on regular meat. All right, there's it there. And that was, holds this system into the rest of the body. They're fascia tongues. All right, these are some clips uh, somebody posted from this Dr. J.C. Gumberto. And uh, she's absolutely fabulous. Now, this is the fascia. Fascinating. Now, these, you'll see, they're, well, I'm going to let it play and then we'll discuss it. With rings that reinforce the solidity like an articulated bamboo stem, transparent sails, dew drops. Travel along these pearly structures and you notice the same fractal arrangement everywhere. Large fibrils endlessly punctuated by other smaller ones. The tissue continuum is total, the marriage homogeneous and the arrangement completely fractal. All right homogeneous. They are completely moving throughout each other's zones. So if they're sending out a pulse, and light is way faster than 5G. <laughs> Believe it or not, light that we see is way faster than 5G. It goes bip, and then everywhere in your body you would receive that pulse of light. And it has, it has to have an address. That's the key. Your brain has to say, go to that right finger and tell it to twitch to the left just a little hair, or whatever it is. Or, I, I felt that heat come from that finger, tell it to move to the right, or whatever the case is. But it's, these pulses are driving all of the different receptors and a different peripheral nervous system impulses to drive all the things you do. Now, I understand the way muscles work. They pinch, they pinch, they pinch. They do whatever they do in accordance with somebody telling it to activate electronically. And that's what all these things are, is electronically. Now, the light is the signal. And that's the same way in a computer. You have these tiny little signals, the little, little, little bitty, they're just they're actually equivalent to light. And they trip off the base of a little transistor and says, hey, go do something important now. It's a little tiny signal. And when it hits the base of a transistor, it turns it on and a transistor does a big job. Basically, that's what we have. You're getting these little signals. They hit a receptor somewhere and it says okay do do the thing that I just told you to do and it's going to be a complicated thing it's not going to be just click do this no it's think about what you're doing when I do this if I play the piano just think about just think about the complexity of everyday life and that is just peripheral stuff that's just it just happens you don't even think about it I, I, I wave my hands all day long never even give it a thought You know, we have to really get deeper into the, to the. You know, I mean, this to, to think this is just all accidental. Something blew up, and all this stuff just drifted together and made all this stuff happen. That is the weakest of all arguments I have ever heard in my life. And now, all of the research that is being done, and specifically at Mud Falls University, just completely destroys all of that. And the people that were, were selling that, and literally selling that information, will not confront the truth of what is, is staring them in the face. And that's kind of, uh, that's an indictment. That's an indictment as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's not like they're looking for truth. Not in my world. 
and that is their fiduciary obligation. So I don't know. I see this as a real serious situation. In, in my world, it is. I certainly wouldn't want to be paying them to teach me what is obviously not true. But anyway, this is another issue. But so you should go up and watch this. It's strolling under the skin. Absolutely fascinating. But this is the light moving through these fibers in my world. That's the only way this can be done. Now, I started off talking about the source of pain, and it is because every one of these fascia attachments attaches to a muscle. The muscle pulls. These are being pulled out of your actual sockets and so forth. They are a very weak, uh, not not weak, they, they're, they're very extremely strong, and they're tough, and they're tight, and they don't stretch. They don't stretch much at all. Very, very little give to those. And when they break, they don't heal well either. And they're all throughout your body, they're throughout your legs and your arms and your back and your neck and your shoulders. Every single bit of you has this fascia in you. So, uh, and they connect down your legs and all over. And, and that's part of the way that we can identify mud fossils is by the fascia. Because the fascia does not deteriorate the way the red muscle and blood does. And I'll show you in a giant from the past. You need to understand anatomy and chemistry and biology to make the determinations of what you see if it's biology or it's a statue. Now, you see these tendinous material. We talk about tendons. These are strappy. These are white. These are calcium carbonate, CaCO3. They are not anything like the tissue of the muscle, which is a very soft, erodible tissue normally. All right, this is a giant, frozen in time. That is the ligament. If you can't understand what you just saw and what this is, underneath is the leg itself, is the red bloody stuff. And you see here, all eroding away from his decaying tissue that was underneath this marbleized surface. Now, in Ovid, he talks about them, the, 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 it was called, uh, they turn the bodies to stone. It's metamorphosis, and that's what they did. He talks all about it and how they they turn people into stone for fun. And uh, and and this is the that's the, the architecture of the um, muscle and uh, cutting your arm right off. Now they put metal and tried to fix the guy's face. Did a terrible job. Um, so they said, "Oh, they tried to." They, they, that was all made. No, it wasn't. This is biological 100 percent and they froze them in time and and ovid talks about it in great detail in metamorphosis so that's the truth of the nature of life this is uh, um gigante uh, gigante del marie i think it's called i, th I believe that's what a statue de del gigante anyway um and this, this is just one of them. They're all over the place. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll show you one more and I'm leave it there. Now, there's another C Colossus of Apennine. Very, very obvious. This is a kaolin and clays. I looked at this very carefully. His feet are showing and everything. That's exactly, this is his back and his feet are going right into the ground and everything. This is exactly what happens to those marbleized surfaces. They begin to fracture as the age comes along. The pharaohs in Egypt had the same thing. This is from one of Brian Forrester's, and he came up, he's a very strange weathering. Yes, that's the ribs. This one's collapsed in, but those are the ribs. This is the lung. That's the liver. This is the chest cavity of a pharaoh. There's another mummy. I'm sure he's inside of this coating. And I will leave it at this. That is a brain. This is all of the different fiber opticness of the brain. And so is this. And this is a real brain of a real skull. And it's laying face down. The brain itself is moved this way. The nose is crushed up. The lip is twisted up. The face is compressed as it would be laying down this way. It, the jaw comes apart. The teeth are absolutely flawless, and that is the only thing that they can come up with to say that it's not real. And there was a time called the Golden Age when things were perfect.
perfect. Last word on this video.